In this video, we'll be reviewing sections 4 and dash 2 and 4 dash 3 from the textbook. We'll be writing equations in point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. So we've got point slope form here. Notice the directions rather than point slope form y minus y sub 1. Now we're going to fill in this box with whatever y sub 1 is. And then we've got m and then x minus is from the formula. And we're going to fill that in with whatever x sub 1 is. So looking at this individual problem, we've got x sub 1 is the negative 2, y sub 1 is the 4, And then, of course, our m is 4 as well. So we're substituting in, in place of x sub 1, put negative 2. Notice where the x sub 1 is. In place of y sub 1, put 4. And then in place of m, put 4. Now, anywhere we see minus a negative, we'll have to rewrite it. So x minus a negative 2 will rewrite as x plus 2. Minus a negative is the same as adding a positive. And that's all we have to do for point-slope form. Same directions here. We'll label our points x sub 1, y sub 1. And then we're substituting into this formula. The minus is already there. y sub 1 is negative 2. m is negative 3 x minus is already there, x sub 1 is 3. Minus a negative, rewrite as plus a positive. Really important to read the directions on these. Still writing in point slope form, so we'll label our points x sub 1, y sub 1. Our slope is the m, be y minus y sub 1, which is negative 2 equals m, which is 2 thirds, times x minus 5. Minus negative, we'll rewrite as plus positive. Oops, that should be y plus 2. Equal to 2 thirds times, in parentheses, x minus 5. Again, that's point slope form. Same directions on this one. Label your points, substitute in, y minus y sub 1, which is 2, equals our m, which is negative 1 third, times x minus from the formula, x sub 1 is five, negative 5. Rewrite the minus negative as plus positive, and we're done. On these three, we're changing it from point slope form, which has the parentheses, to slope intercept. So first thing we got to do is get rid of our parentheses. So y plus 1 equals 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times 1 is 3. Now to get rid of the plus 1, because notice in our formula y is by itself. So we'll subtract 1 from each side of the equation. So we have y equals 3x plus Two. That's in slope intercept. We can look at it and tell that our slope is 3, y intercepts 2. Same idea on this next one. We've got to get rid of our parentheses and then we need to get y by itself. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Now to get rid of the minus 5 to get the y by itself, add 5 to each side. Treat that as a negative 8 plus 5, and you'll get negative 3. To get rid of our parentheses on 7, distribute. 1 third times x is 1 third x. And then 1 third times negative 3. If you need to, you can write it out. Negative 3 as a fraction would be negative 3 or 1. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Divide that, you get negative 1. To get rid of the minus 3, 
add 3 to each side. So we get y equals 1 third x plus 2. Here we have to change it to standard form. Now when you change it from point slope to standard form, you go through slope intercept along the way. So we can do our first two steps just like we did the last um, three problems. We'll distribute to get rid of the parentheses. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 24 is negative 24. Then we'll go ahead and get rid of the plus 7. Treat that as a negative 24 minus 7, and you get negative 31. Now, the thing that's different about standard form is we've got the x's on the left side, and they're leading off. So to get rid of this negative 3x, we'll add 3x to each side. Now, y and 3x are not like terms. You can't combine them. So we'll write 3x plus y equal to negative 31. Make sure you're careful with your signs there. Anytime you get rid of the stuff that's in front of the subtraction, then it'll look like minus in the next step. Or it'll look like negative, excuse me. Next step. Same directions on this one. You're writing it in standard form. To get rid of the parentheses, we'll distribute. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 9 is negative 27. To get our constants together, we'll subtract 5 from each side. If it said slope-intercept, we'd be done. But now we need to get it in standard form. So the x's need to be on the left side. We want those x's leading off. So now we have negative 3x plus y equals negative 32. Now, if you're at the step where you got them all in the right order, you already have integers, then, and you need a to be positive, but it's negative, then we're going to multiply both sides by negative 1. Now, you can accomplish the same thing by dividing by negative 1. Every sign will change. So negative 1 times negative 3x, positive 3x. That's what we wanted. Negative 1 times y is negative y. Negative 1 times negative 32 is positive 32. Notice that every sign changed. Now we have a is positive 3. All right, here we've got a point and the slope, so we're going to substitute into point slope. Now notice your directions. Final answer needs to be in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So we're going to start with point slope. That's the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So we're substituting into that. y minus is from the formula 2 equals m, which is negative 2, times x minus a negative 5. We'll rewrite that minus negative as plus a positive. To get rid of the parentheses, distribute. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10. And now to get the y by itself, we'll add 2 to each side. Now we have it in that slope-intercept form. Next one, we'll label our points. Point sl slope y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Substitute in y minus 7 equals 3 times x. Minus is from the formula x sub 1, negative 9. Rewrite that minus negative as plus positive. And then we'll distribute to get rid of our parentheses. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 9 is 27. And then to get the y by itself, to get rid of the minus 7, we'll add 7 to each side. 
27 plus 7 is 34. So we got it in slip intercept form. All right, and then this one, we have two points. We don't have the slope, so we're going to use this slope formula first. Once we have the slope, we will have, we already have a point, so we'll have points, we'll use point slope. And then once we write it as an equation there, we'll get it into slope intercept form. So our final answer has to be in slope intercept. So we're going to, but we've got to find the slope to begin with. So substituting into the slope formula on top, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over on the bottom, x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Subtract on top, you get negative 3. On the bottom, negative 3 minus a negative 2 is negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. So we get positive 3 for our slope. Now point slope, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x of 1 because we now have the point a point and the slope so I'm going to use this point and this slope and substitute in y minus y sub 1 which is 6 equals m 3 times x minus from the formula x of 1 which is negative 2 minus a negative we'll rewrite as plus positive final answer here needs to be in slope intercept so we're going to just distribute to get rid of our parentheses. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then to get the y by itself, we'll add 6 to each side. Now we have it into slope-intercept form. y equals 3x plus 12, where our slope is 3 and our y-intercept is 12.